What's happening guys? Welcome to my channel and to this series of Moonshades videos. So today we are going to talk about the Magic Forge and um, one thing I have to say before we proceed uh, is that this is my main account. The other one I used for, uh, for making the walkthrough is uh, on another PC emulator but right now I'm using my real game because I have all the materials in here, I didn't want to spend time uh, farming for, from them and so yeah, this is going to make things way easier for me but the, the procedure is the same, so let's go on as you can see I have fairly high gear right now I have mostly level 23 to 25 relics which are the highest rarity gear you can get and yeah I still need some to complete the full relic gear set as you can see having a 23 piece of relic gear upgraded to plus 5 is <laughs> it's incredible I mean Take a look at what a legendary level 6 brings to you in terms of stats and look at a 23 plus 5 relic. I mean this is the knight of course. <laughs> Honestly this is really unbalanced. Once you have 3-4 pieces of, of level 5 relics you can just cakewalk everything. So. Yeah, it's not up to me saying if that's good or not at this point of the game so as you can see I also hit level 26 which is the level cap for now and another reason why I used this, uh, this channel is because I am on the beta uh, with this account not channel I'm sorry uh, the reason I'm using this account is because I am on the beta and I am currently running 1.0.97 version I think and the main changes which really broke the game in my opinion is that now the blacksmith items are refreshing every time you leave the game and come back or leave the blacksmith area and come back so what this means is that you can basically farm the blacksmith for legendary or epic gear which are of your own level or one level above yours uh, as you can see all the weapons I'm level 26, 26 are level 26 or 27 so you can basically save an exit continue and see you can see here I have a, an epic item I could buy which is level 26 six I get for this I use a forge rune and I get a legendary 26 or 27 so yeah that's pretty broken if you want my opinion but yeah it's not up to me to say if that is good or not so let's proceed so once you have a legendary high level piece of gear you can get a relic and for this tutorial I'm going to use this level 26 might of the basilisk armor as you can see I already have two plus five relic armors of course during the, the process of turning this armor into a piece of relic I'm going to get a level 26 or a level 27 piece of gear. Uh, I prefer to have a level 26 for, 6 for now because yeah, I can't proceed to level 27 so uh, I can't use that. So I want to complete my full, full relic gear. So instead if you're using, if you're still level 23, 10, 11, whatever, you can you can get a higher piece of gear and wait until you level up to to put that on so 
when you when you craft a relic piece of gear you are going to get a different piece from the one you are using or even the same i mean it's really random you can get another armor a helmet a cloak a ring everything so the trick one trick i'm going to use to not have any duplicate i mean i could get another armor and i'm good with armors i mean this would be level 26 but i'd really prefer to have another ring to replace the scrap or this weapon which is level 7 or these boots which are level 8 so what you have to do is when you get your piece of relic if you don't like it if it's too high in level if it's a different kind of equipment you don't want just hard shut the game and reload and repeat the process and you can get a different piece of gear until you are satisfied with, re with the result so i think i talk a bit too much uh, until now so it's time to proceed to the crafting so open the forge click on recipes and what you gonna need for crafting relics is really a good bunch of materials some of these are more easy to get at least in my experience it might all be uh, rng so i don't know for me the hardest item to get is this one the book of the ancients which is which has almost always been the one i was lacking to get a new piece of relic uh, as for ingots purple ingots for me are the hardest to get as you can see i have 45 gold 32 bronze and only four pieces of purple as well as for ancient plates the rust is the hardest to get so far for me i mean this might be just me this might be uh, a scripted thing i don't know as for the other pieces green kittens is the rarest among kittens and yeah, zesh runes and quap runes, easy to get. What you are also going to need is three for runes. I have seven for each relic upgrade. So you can buy these now from the from the blacksmith now, as well as these tire upgrade runes, which will bring your relic gear. Or any gear but I strongly suggest to save those for relics up to plus five so what we need to do to get our first relic is as you can see from hitting on the relic button is one legendary equipment which we have our armor one quap rune one book of the ancients and three items we need to craft with other recipes so if you do the if you didn't get all the recipes just take a look at me at my walkthrough videos but most of them actually are in the chamber of heroes so, so just go there get these recipes if you don't have the recipes the recipes why am i saying recipes this is a terrible mistake recipes you can still craft items you don't need to have the recipe uh, just need to know what to do so what we are going to need is air element orb you can just click on fill and use and here's our orb then one kura one cur one i don't know how to pronounce that rune again fill and forge and one kitten stone fill and forge okay now we have our three items just hit on the relic fill and it's going to fill uh, automatically all the required items all you need to do is add the legendary item you are going to sacrifice in order to get your relic hit the use and you get your glory of tears i think this is a cloak i don't remember if i need a cloak probably yeah i do uh, i have this 24 legendary which i was using now what i'm going to do is replace that and i can use this word of the crown to get another relic item once 
I get another uh, book of the ancients which I have no more so what I'm going to show you in this video too is how to upgrade items it's really easy just select the item you want to upgrade and the entire upgrade rune or any book of vitality power of spirit you want to use and hit the use button and here we are glory of tears plus one as you can see its stats are skyrocketing so you can also buy tire upgrade runes from the blacksmith i just bought two just to show you and repeat the process i don't know if you can use more items in one in one run i am afraid uh, it might glitch something waste item so yeah i'm just doing it one at a time so i need two more to get to plus five but as you can see yeah this is kind of cool and i just hit the four hundred thousand year score as you can see in the leaderboard right now i am number one in gear score with this method so yeah here i am forty hundred thousand and yeah i need to finish my full gear run so as we have a little time i'm going to show you let me let me just put some stuff i don't want to carry with me in my chest so what i have in this in this account is uh, just uh, I just bought a plus five plus ten spaces from my storage chest, and honestly, this is more than enough for farming and having an easy game. So I just get rid of all my portions, get rid of school uh, skeleton scouts, which I don't need at all, and I didn't forge any intermediate items that I'm not using in advance so not to waste any space in this way I have I think three here they are three two three three piece of gear I'm keeping here for further upgrades and all the items I'm I'm not going to to use and this way I have uh, 19, 19 spaces left for farming which is yeah it's enough i mean you don't need that more space so i suggest just buy one or two if you want upgrades for inventory or storage chest so i'm going to show you guys how i farm all these items and which is the quickest the quickest way for me so my farming route is I go to the enchanted labyrinth, proceed all this way, get rid of this goblin and sprint. Okay, I'm going to get rid of you in the buried quarters. So this is my farming spot. I just dive into this space right here real quick, then run to the wheel, turn around while I cast the lightning orb and this is going to eat almost always all the enemies if not you just have to finish the ones that remain alive uh, you can do this route when you are uh, when you have mm, kind of good gear level 10 or so so you can resist of course you're going to need to use more than one skill as i do right now because you are not geared enough so another piece of of, of, of advice uh, is to is to get strong weapons asap that's because uh, the damage of the weapons is the basic for your lightning orb and weird wind as well as brutal strike i mean all your skills depends depend on uh, on the weapon damage so 
are going to it's going to make your RAM faster. So as you can see, yeah. Just I'm doing it real fast. So as you can see how fast it is. In and out, sometimes the spiders remains alive, just whack him. Get everything you need and go out and get in. So this way you can farm experience, gold, and uh, every item you need. So yeah, just repeat that. And in a moment I'm going to show you another route I was using when I didn't want to get all the spiders on me because I was not um, strong enough to do that. So the other route is head in pop in this room to aggro the spiders. Uh, oh, I did it too slow, so I can't show you. I'm sorry. I'm going to do this in a second. So I got a forge room. That's nice. So I'm going to do this a little bit faster to show you. So pop in the room, go this way, turn around. You're going to fight these two little spiders first, and then you can pop your bonus skill, I don't remember the name of that, your unholy might, which buffs your skills too, and hit your rear winds and then finish the big spiders that come from the large room in the middle. So one more time, go back, pop in the room, ahead, make a turn, pop the bonus, hit and finish them off. I mean, just find the right combination of skills you need based on your strength and yeah that's it that's how i got to this point so level cap and top in gear score yes i'm bragging i really am so see you soon guys let me know if you like this video of course i'm going to release more once there are uh, more contents and yeah leave a comment if you like see ya